Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today is going to be a real simple day. I've, we've got a bunch of stormy weather and stuff like that, so I figured what better day to do a little bit of a first-hand review on uh, the Baffin Zone. It is a hiking boot, and I have needed a purpose-built hiking boot for years now, and I finally got one. So I'm going to go over it. I've already used it once or twice, so I didn't get an unboxing video for you guys, but to the point i'm gonna do like a first hand review um if you guys haven't seen it i'll put it at the end of this video i also have um what is it called the baffin marsh uh i've been using that for creek videos if you guys haven't seen those go check those out after this one otherwise let's get into it okay so as you can see I got the Baffin zones here, and you can tell <laughs> that uh, they aren't fresh. Oh, and I just dumped sand all over my desk. Apparently, <laughs> apparently they're full of sand. Um, I'm going to have to go over this very carefully. Uh, I'm trying to do this in the light here so you guys can see. So if you guys have never seen these before, this is my first time owning. Well, no, I can't say that. I've had a couple different hiking boots. Um, but these guys... If you guys don't know who Baffin is, most ice fishermen will, but um, I've always looked to Baffin for like a quality product. I run their uh, ice boots, and I've been running their ice boots for years, and I just picked up their, um, I forgot what it's called, the, the Baffin Marsh. It's like a water shoe slash like sloppy shoe, or whatever you would call it. Um, I've been running those for uh, fishing creeks and stuff like when you're walking in the water and you're like gonna be getting them wet all the time I guess these guys are waterproof so realistically I can get these guys wet too but I, I got these based on the idea that I needed a hiking boot you know something with good traction down here a good solid sole halfway decently light uh because if you if anybody goes out there like so i do fish in a boat but i fish a lot of like backcountry stuff or river banks that have rocks and whatnot and you gotta hike and if you don't have a purpose-built boot if you try and run just like a regular shoe one it gets very uncomfortable very quick two they break down super fast now like i said i just got these and I, like I said, I was going to do an unboxing video for you guys, but the problem was the day I got these, I got a call to come out by a buddy and he was like, Hey, we got to go do a big old hike in to fish for some big fish. And yeah, I'll see you out here. And I'm like, crap, <laughs> I'm like, I guess I'm going to have to use them right away. So, I mean, I didn't beat them up too bad, but I can tell you from the first hand experience, they were getting wet on top like i had water splashing them up and around this and my feet stayed dry inside so i mean that was really cool something i di i didn't even know i was just like prepared to get them soaked and i was gonna have to deal with the fact that i should have been wearing a different pair of shoes or something like that but to my surprise and luck <laughs> they are waterproof all the way at least up to here i mean i had water splashing over them i wasn't walking in the water but I had waves and splash and all that stuff happen where okay so if you guys didn't get the name of these jesus i have a ton of sand in here <laughs> i i dumped out a bunch of sand on this i don't know if you guys caught that when i went to flip the boot over to look at the bottom of it um and if that's a loud noise that's what i'm doing is brushing up some of the sand that came out of the boot i thought there'd be more sand coming off of the boot <laughs> but apparently i had gotten sand inside the boot here uh just dumping it in a garbage can real quick but so like i said before these are the zone and i didn't even realize so um any of you guys that follow my channel you guys know i'm an ice fisherman uh if you're new here first of all i'm sorry thank you for stopping by if you're not subscribed if you like these videos you like this kind of stuff um I fish a lot, that's mainly what I do on this channel, uh, but I also like to give back in the sense that like everybody has to do the same thing, trial and error, buy something, use it, find out they don't like it, and then 
no, the weird thing is nobody ever talks to anybody about it unless it's a really, really bad review. Like, if these were junk in a couple months, I'd be like, this is the worst thing. Don't ever buy it. But realistically, I just got them, so I can't really say much about them. But, but besides the little bit that I have used them. Um, but, yeah, this is the Baffin Zone. And like I was saying, you guys that have been around, you know I ice fish. And I have uh, the Baffin Impacts. Uh, I was actually looking at getting a couple other Baffin boots for this winter for some different um, applications. I try to get stuff, if you guys don't realize it yet, I try to get stuff uh, like 100% based on what it's supposed to be used for. So this, case in point, is a hiking boot. And I call them like river walking boots or, uh, you know, trail boots because yeah, you can go, like, obviously I can take this if I if I wasn't fishing and I just wanted to go hike some rocks or maybe even go rock climbing, uh, moderate rock climbing or whatever. I, I could throw these on and it'd be a hiking boot. But for me, it's more along the lines of I want something, one, that I can abuse. So, like, the toe caps on this, the, the heavy sole, um, they're pretty light for how much is built into it. Uh, I think the rating on these things was like all the way down to like negative 10. So they're insulated, but they didn't feel, I, w I went out on a hot day uh, when I did use these for the first time and they didn't feel warm or anything like that. So, I mean, I have more days that are going to be coming up that I, I'm going to be going over this again with you guys. Cause if you've been around, you know. The first thing I want to do is actually try something out. I want to use it. I want to abuse it. I want to make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. And the only reason I'm getting kind of frustrated with the thought of that is I've done that with... If you guys if you guys have been around for a while, you know I'm broke basically in a sense that I, don't, I own stuff. But it's because I buy stuff that I know uh, will benefit me. Uh, will actually help me in the long run. So I don't have a lot of money. So when I buy stuff... And I, you know, you get like a review. Somebody's like, oh, this is great because the people paid them to say, hey, this is great. And then you go buy it and you wear it for like a week and you're like, this is not great. <laughs> this is so bad. Why did I buy it? Well, I'm trying to help you guys bypass that curve. And uh, I'd rather not lie to you guys and have somebody actually trust my judgment than uh, sacrifice it for just the idea of getting something you know, getting paid to say something. So you guys can rest assured, I'm not getting paid to say this. Uh, but I just want to get over, basically the, I'm going to go over kind of the details that I like about this boot so far and what I, you know, was looking for when I got it. And if there's anything that let me down and I kind of got to go over it with you guys. So you'll see like real time of anything that I might not like about it, but let's get into it. Okay, so let's just go over these real quick for you guys i'm gonna make this one a short and quick one so you guys if you got anything to do today you can get out and go fishing i want you guys to go fishing that's why i'm trying to help you if you get these go fishing also i will link these below you don't have to get them if you don't want to i'm just going to link them below in case you like the way they look or what i have to say about them and then you can pick up your own pair um but like i said later on i'm going to be using these all fall so this will be something I use almost all the way till there's winter. And then once it's like 20, 30 degrees outside or less on a regular basis, I tend to throw my uh, my other baffins on my impact. My That's a winter boot, just so you guys know. But yeah, I'll link these below. Okay, so first things first. One of the things that I was concerned about with getting a purpose-built hiking boot was in the past when I was a kid and very young, uh, I, I my mom had bought me hiking boots before that's like the last time I've gotten like a purpose-built hiking boot and they were like heavy and I didn't understand that because it's a hiking boot they should have been light but I mean that was a while ago and technology changes and whatnot so something that you can say right away about these is these are halfway decently light like I can here I'll take my fingers so you guys I'm just pinching this so like it's not a heavy boot it's not like this big tankish boot. So that's a big plus. It won't wear you down, it doesn't seem like. Uh, like I said, I've only used them once, so this is just me going off of what I'm understanding so far. 
Uh, one thing I really like about these that I can honestly say is like my favorite thing is the way this toe cap from the bottom. So that's the sole. And if you look at it, like the way it wraps around the front like that, and then you have like your uh, midsole or whatever you call that, and then your toe cap on here. This, it's not a steel toe, but I did, when I was hiking along on the first day, I did kick some, you know, decent sized boulders and rocks and like broken up concrete and whatnot. Um, and it, I mean, it's solid. You don't feel it inside at all. So it's almost like a steel toe shoe, but you know, 100% synthetic. So that's something, a big thing that I can say is a big plus. Uh, another good thing is this, these come with these good laces. I don't know what they're made out of, but I've gotten my, I bought my own fair share of boots that I, you know, would consider hiking boots. And they always come with these cheap laces, which doesn't make any sense to me because it's a hiking boot. I mean, you're going to beat them up. So these laces are decent from what I understand. It seems like uh, these buttons and the, the hooks on here, I forgot what they're called. They're like J hooks or something like that. But they, they're well mounted. They're solid. The, the actual boot shell itself is, I mean, it's a boot shell, but um, for the most part, it's nice. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, a big thing that I noticed right away, which kind of scared me, and I was like, whatever, I'll just deal with it, was I, I had to walk through some uh, shallow water to get my lure back. You guys didn't see it on the video. Uh, if you watched the last river fishing video where I was smallmouth fishing, I actually had to get, get one of my lures back, and I had to walk into water that was like close to, I mean, it was almost all the way up here, and the waves were coming over the front of it, and what I was doing, I was like walking on my tippy toes so that I didn't like dunk my whole leg in the water, even though I had shorts on. I didn't want to get water inside these things. And uh, yeah, they were waterproof. I was surprised. I completely like spaced the fact that it says waterproof right there. <laughs> and so when the water was like coming over the top here, I was expecting it to go through here, which I don't understand how it wasn't going through there. The only thing, oh, okay, so right, this, so like I said, this is me going with you. This stops right there. So at that button, there's a sleeve that connects everything. And that's why I wasn't getting water in there. So I was standing like, you know, like that in the water or like that in the water. So when the water was coming over and hitting right here, it wasn't going above this. So if you stay in water, you know, four, four inches or less deep, I think these are pretty good for like water, water resistance. As far as that, I wouldn't say waterproof because as soon as you get the water above the cuff here, it's going to go in the boot and your sock's going to get wet and everything like that. Okay, so I just wanted to flip this up real quick for you guys. So you guys can get a close-up of uh, what this bottom is made of. Um, so it says Baffin Polar Proven, but like as far as the grip is concerned on these things, they're Baffins. Uh, it's the one thing I swore up and down. If you guys watch my Baffin Impact video from, a, like, I think it was last year or the year before that, I did on the, the s snow boots. The way they do their grip patterns and stuff like that, I'm thoroughly impressed. I mean, it's, it takes a lot to actually impress me because I've seen a lot and dealt with a lot. But it's just, like, the way these patterns are put together and the way they, they use the right materials, you know, the soft soft rubber based like a hard rubber sole it just makes them that much nicer it's just weird like I, i've just dealt with a lot of bad companies i guess so i'm kind of biased towards like i don't care what people think they're doing nowadays because they're not doing a good job but these guys uh they seem like they're doing a good job so so far i have to say my first impression of the baffin zone it's an a plus um that can get degraded and it will go down if I use these all the way till uh, November and for some reason something falls apart on them or you know something's not working. Maybe these shoelaces aren't as good as they seem and they you know they tear or rip. Uh, maybe this wears down because I beat my stuff up. I'm not nice to it. So if your guys are looking for somebody who like walks up and down the street all the time with their gear on, <laughs> That's not me. I go off the road, I go down the trail, I hike through the rocks and the rivers and the streams, and I make sure to use my gear. All right, so 
with these boots, I can honestly say up front right now that from the first day I wore them, like I said, it was one day. I wore them one day. That's 100% truth. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to walk myself through that one. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys have made it this far, I really hope... I help some of you guys kind of like, maybe you were on the fence about buying the zones or you didn't even know they existed. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm big on Baffin's ice boot. And the thing with that is Baffin's always been known for their ice boots. So it was a real simple decision. I found them on sale one day, picked them up, was ecstatic. I could get them for the price that I did. And on top of that, it was a win-win because I use them. I use them to death. I'm on the ice. The minute I can walk on water, I'm walking on water to the minute I'm probably not supposed to be walking on water anymore. <laughs> if you guys know who I am and what I've done in my life, you might know I've been through the ice a couple times. So, <laughs> But I'm not trying to propagate that. I just wanted to help you guys out, uh, check out the zones. Like I said, I'll link them in the bottom uh, in the description. If you guys uh, do want to pick up a pair just because of the way they look or the way I like, I can say... I did leave out the one necessity fact. I'm sorry it's taken this long for me to get to it. But the fact is, they are comfortable. One day, I can't say they're going to be forever comfortable. I can't say they're going to get you know, better or worse. But they are comfortable. So I wore them all day from 3 o'clock in the morning till 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So you be the judge. That's up to you. Uh, I'm not telling anybody to do anything they don't want to do, but... I hope I helped you guys out. I hope you guys uh, get out this fall. I'm still looking forward to some really good action. Uh, surprise, if you've made it this far, you're going to have one secret. Comment below what your personal best smallmouth is, but don't write the word smallmouth. Just write what your number is, you know, like if it's a 5.2 or a 5.6 or a 7, or maybe you guys got some freak or something like that. Maybe you fish Lake Champlain and you got some 8s. Comment below, because that's one of my missions. That's another reason I got these boots, is I'm going to do some hiking and try and get a personal best fat smallie this year. Uh, last year, it was kind of like a walleye mission. I just disappeared into the north woods and all over the state looking for giant walleye. I got a couple good ones. If you guys check out my Instagram, at uh, DWSDave31, uh, you can see those guys from last year, and hopefully I get some more of those this year. But... My main mission this year is to pick up a just football of a smallmouth. So that's a big 28-8. Uh, that I have to beat, but I want to do it through the ice realistically because that's, that's where I got that guy, uh, just like that one. All my big fish tend to come through the ice for some reason. I have gotten some large other fish uh, open water, but all my really big ones come through the ice. So looking forward to that. Uh, also comment below. So two things I want you guys to comment below if you're still here, uh, which by the way, if you're still here, got to help you for, and being thankful in the sense that <laughs> I'm rambling, but I want to, I just want to say thank you. It's an amazing thing for anybody who supports me in this channel. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes and I'm looking forward to doing stuff to help all of you with this channel, but comment below. If you guys are really looking forward to the ice season, so two things you got to comment two things below, and I want to see these uh, your personal best smallmouth, but do not write smallmouth. You could put PB, but let's confuse everybody and just put numbers. <laughs> like, I think that would be more fun. So, like, so I just put five or five two or six or six two, and we'll see if somebody figures it out. But then also comment uh, in a separate comment. If you guys are looking forward to this ice season because i have so many ideas and so many things i want to accomplish i just hope we get a good ice season you guys keep your fingers crossed for a good ice season if you like ice fishing but i hope i helped all you guys out i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i know it was kind of like a basic video but it was one of those ones i had to get done because i'm going to be using these boots a lot and i want to let you guys know you know how they are and you guys will know the truth within the next two or three months if they're really good or not which i mean might help you guys out you might get some good deals for christmas or uh, the holiday season a lot of times you can buy stuff like that in the weekend or in the winter but i'll stop rambling obviously if you're not new here you know what's up but if you are new please just remember to 